Lady, go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. So today we are going to be doing a combined um, video for water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And these are love messages from your person, and this is talking about the connection. What they think of the connection, what they want to happen, and then some advice. So we're going to jump into it. I did do a pre-shuffle so it can go a little um, smoother. That way you don't hear all the shuffling. Just, you know, something a little different because I usually shuffle on camera. But I meditate over the cards, I shuffled, and these are the messages that God wants me to give you from your person about the connection. Okay? To my subscribers, thank you guys. And to those of you that are new, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe before you leave. I am going to timestamp the video so you don't have to watch um, another sign if you don't want to watch it. Okay? So first we're going to start off with Scorpio. Pisces and then Cancer. So I'm going to move these to the side if I can. There we go. Well, maybe I'll put them, yeah, in order. Pisces, you will be next. Scorpio, let's get it cracking. Messages from your person. Okay, this is the last card here. First card Heartbeat. Heartbeat. So this is talking about um, being able to telepathically communicate with one another. So they feel you around them, even when you're not physically around them. Like they can feel your energy. They can uh, feel your heart. They can also kind of sense when things are good with you and when things are bad with you, even if they're not in your presence. So which means the bond that you have with your person is pretty strong. You guys are pretty connected with each other. Um, I'm also getting a sense of there being like mutual understandings in love. Like you guys know each other's love language. Put it that way. You guys know each other's love language. Like one person may love compliments. Another person may love acts of service. You guys know how to flow with one another. And I kind of feel like on different occasions, your love languages may be the same or they may be different or they may change. They may have changed throughout the duration of this connection. So your person is coming across like they understand that about this connection. So it's more of a like um, go with the flow type of thing. Like it, it can be also spontaneous and adventurous um, that things happen. It's not always the same stagnant energy is what I'm picking up, which is really good because I'm a Scorpio too. And I like spontaneous uh, things in the relationship. I don't like things just to be, you know, one sided, you know, gets kind of boring after a while. What else? See, embrace oneness with the universe. So I kind of feel like you guys' spirituality is on point. You guys may have the same type of uh, spiritual, um, spiritual, what I want to say, spiritual journey. Um, I also hear prayer. Maybe you guys pray together or meditate together. And this also talks about... Um, that in God's timing or divine timing that you guys met, like this connection was destined to be. So it's like no need to worry because this connection is destined to be. And also, um, it could mean this is somebody you know or somebody that you're that's coming up like something new because I kind of feel new and old energy here. So I really didn't put a stipulation on if I wanted new energy or old energy. I wanted God to do what God do. Give me the message and allow me to um, present the message with my intuition to give you freedom to see if this applies to you or not. But I feel old and new energy here. Okay. Yes. Old and new energy. So if this could be somebody you're meeting on the on this path of your spiritual journey, or this could be somebody that's already on this spiritual journey with you that you've already met and you guys have connected with one another wholeheartedly um, 
with this heartbeat card it means great connection or you will meet somebody throughout your spiritual path that is on the same journey as you that you're going to have a great connection with so that's going to be super awesome like this this is coming across pretty cool so far you know okay what's the next message it says mask, not showing true feelings, high personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So one or the other is not being as open as they could be. So now we need to work on openness. Now we need to work on being open with each other. Now we need to work on being open with one another. Because one or the other is not being open with each other. Okay. So you guys are on the same spiritual path, but you haven't opened up to each other fully. That's why I said I feel new energy here too. Even if it's old energy, you know, we all go through our cycles. So definitely this is something that needs to be looked at in the connection. Because this person kind of feels like the connection is not as um, open as it could be. And I'm not saying that you, Scorpio, are wearing a mask or your person is wearing a mask. It could be both. Both of you guys are protective of yourself. It could be based on past experiences, past relationships, that you guys are feeling like this, that you need to wear a mask, that you can't give your full self to this person just yet. It could be something fairly new, like within a year or less. I still consider that new, you know, so... And even if I kind of feel like reconciliation here too, so many messages, even if this is something that you did that came back around, like you did that came back around, like, you know, you guys are getting to uh, reconcile. This was an old love. You guys probably still haven't fully completely opened up yet. So the page of cups. So this is some... This is, can be like some new emotional fulfillment that's coming into your life. That's why I said this could be new too. Some some new emotional fulfillment, but new doesn't always mean a new person. It can mean a changed person. So this is bringing some type of new emotional um, fulfillment of love. Like this person, they're going to offer their cup to you, Scorpio. Definitely, this is how they feel about the connection. So they definitely want to open up and offer their cup to you, like, no question about it. They definitely want this connection to move forward, regardless of everything that needs to be worked on. Not saying that it's a lot, but the things that we discuss. At the end of the day, this person is going to offer you up their cup. Now, it's coming across very small at first because it's a process to get it going, and to remove the mask in their relationship. And it says family. Oh, that is so sweet. So this person definitely wants to be a part of your soul tribe, your family. They consider you family. They know this connection is where they're supposed to be. They know this connection is where they're supposed to be. So with this with this family and also I could see um definitely like they want to start a family they want to have children because if you look here you can see um children mother and father um walking you know it seems like it's a nice evening they're outside playing in the forest or the backyard of some sort with the big old sun up there that's that's setting which is really beautiful and our last message is forgiveness is not a right Forgiveness is a right, not earned. So this is coming across telling me that whatever you go through in this connection or if this person is is um, fairly new that you're already, I feel like you're already in connection with this person, but they could definitely be fairly new. Whatever you're going through in this connection, it's like pick and choose your battles. And if you want to be with this person, which it looks like you, both of you guys are coming across very loving and very happy, don't hold back. Don't wear a mask. Just be who you are. I kind of feel like sometimes when we get with people, we don't really show our true colors because we're like, oh, what if they don't like me? So what? Be who you are. Allow the person to see you and, and they allow you to see them. And that way you guys can move forward towards this family. Okay, Scorpio? Those are your love messages about your connection from your person's perspective. We're going to go over to Pisces. 
Okay, hey Pisces, this is your love messages from your person's perspective of what they think of the connection. So I told you in the intro that these cards were pre-pulled and shuffled and meditated on already. So let's get started, Pisces. First message, loud and clear. So this card to me is coming across like, uh, Pisces, you may have said something to them. Now they get it. Now they get it. Now they hear you. And I kind of think like this is after the fact. Now they get it after the fact. What else they want to say? It says, honor your mystical creative force. So they feel like in this relationship, in order to keep this relationship going, there has to be some type of creativity, some type of um, spontaneity that they're, I feel like they feel like, it is missing like there is something that needs to happen that needs to bring everything back out that's why I'm seeing loud and clear because they feel like they hear you saying it but they are not need I don't think neither of you is acting upon this um, creative force that you have in this relationship I kind of feel like this is like um, Everybody's doing their own thing, but not working together. And I feel that you know this Pisces and your person does too. What's the next message? Hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So from this point, now that we know what the problem is or maybe what we need to do, this message is coming across like the person wants to work towards this. Like they've been through many cycles with you. They understand what it takes to build this relationship back up. And I think now they're ready to put in the work. Now they're ready to put in some type of work to build this relationship. Because I think you guys had many a conversations. You've had um, many a times that you have may have talked about this and um, made decisions together. But I don't feel like it has been put in um, action just yet. Okay. So I feel like this is coming across like this needs to... Like you need to start rebuilding, like picking up the pieces and putting them back together so that that so that this relationship can sustain the test of time. OK. Next message, the hangman. So, yes, there's been some clarity that came across in this connection. Your person definitely sees that there has been some clarity and some opportunity of change. Clarity without opportunity, it kind of serves no purpose. So now that you have the opportunity, you have the hangman with the hammer. This speaks opportunity because all of this clarity without any works is not going to really do any good. So now it's time to put the work in so that this relationship can mend. Because I get the feeling from both of you guys that you don't want this to be over. Which is awesome, which is great, which is... You know, if you're willing to work, work it out. Say you got to work it out. Da, 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 da. Work it out. Do what you got to do to make it fair and just, basically. Because you, you guys hold the power. It's your relationship. Do what you got to do to make it fair and just. What's the next? New beginning. Starting over. I told you. Pick up the pieces. Hey. Pick up the pe. Start over. It's okay. Things happen. You got some butterflies on the side right here. You got the moon and the sun. So like I said, some things may not have worked out, but you got the butterflies, which indicates transformation, and the sun, which indicates happiness, and a flowing river of water, which indicates emotional availability. So this person is definitely ready. They're emotionally available. They're ready to change some things. All secrets are out on the table, and the sun is ready to bloom. So if you don't allow yourself to go into this relationship with a new understanding and a new new inspiration to do things differently that's the creative force doing things differently is the creative force that your person is talking about to you pisces so they want you to do things definitely do things differently and not worry about other people because i kind of feel like um judgment like people may judge like oh did they they keep on breaking up getting back together okay whatever 
this ain't they love this your love okay and if this person is if y'all not physically harming each other or going to jail and doing something crazy y'all just you know made mistakes and haven't learned how to put them back together yet so be it pick up the pieces put them back together and start your new beginning and get your person y'all get each other what's the last message Light a candle. Candles provide relaxation and take you to a place of zen. Maybe this is something creative that you guys can do now that you know what needs to happen in this relationship. And this is a woo-saw moment. Maybe take a deep breath, woo-saw, light you a candle, be cool, and work on what you need to work on. Get out all your jitters, work on what you need to work on in this relationship. And I kind of feel like this will be successful because divine timing has granted you new beginnings. So when new beginnings come about, that means you learn your lesson, the bad karmic cycle is over, and you're going to be granted happiness. Okay, Pisces? That was kind. Of, that was an awesome read. I like that one. Okay, Pisces? Thank you for stopping by. Until next time, let intuition be your guide. We're going to go over to uh, Cancer's. Okay, Cancer, what it do, boo? Time for your love messages from your person's perspective. Uh, it could be like Mitch and Match. Is this this is about the connection? Put it that way. This will be the last message, and let's get it cracking. First message is the dude abides. So this is saying God is being watchful over this connection. So it's like everything is at your command. If you ask for something, you shall receive it. It's kind of like just believe. I don't know if y'all listen, but I love gospel. It's uh by the clock says to just believe and receive it. God will provide it today. Hey, hey. Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of like what this is saying. Believe and receive, God will provide. And this is within a love message, but I kind of feel like this is overall in life. Like, believe and receive, God will provide today. It's like the reason that God is here is to be a guidance and to be protection for you. So use use God's guidance and protection because this is what it's here for. And when we go back to love, we're talking about ask God for what you want so you can receive the love you desire. Next message, feel loved and proud. I like, feel loved and proud. They have a bird in here. Birds bring messages. So I kind of feel like, yeah, there may be a message you want to give to your person, your person wants to give to you, or you guys just need to communicate. So it's always, um, God has a watchful eye over this connection, but I feel like feeling loved and proud means being grateful for what you already have versus what you don't. Because sometimes we can get into connection like, well, I don't have what Susie got and Susie married and I'm not married. Okay, well, you know, everybody's life path is different. So just be grateful and sit in the abundance that God has already given you. What's the message? self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation that's what i just said be appreciative of what you already have from both sides and i think i'm just talking to you and your person i think this is coming across like a love message from from god like this is love advice <laughs> I kind of feel like you guys turned into love advice. Sometimes I can't really help what comes out in the read. I just kind of go with it. But I think it's still helpful because it's love advice for the both of you all. And if you guys just have mutual energy, you get same type of advice. So I kind of feel like you guys need to work on self. Be grateful for what you have so that you can grow together. Do some shadow work. Heal. You guys can heal together, especially if you're already in union. If you're working together, continue to work together to heal the the connection or heal whatever each other weakness is. One one person has a weakness, the other person more than likely is stronger in that area when it comes to a union. So that's the way you guys work together. The lovers. See? 
mutual attraction, loving one another, caring for each other, and being together in bliss. This is awesome. This is this is a good a good start for this um for this self indulgence, which is taking care of self. If you take care of yourself, then that means you can honestly pour into the other person. Because if you don't have nothing within self, if you're not built up in self, if you're not feeling loved and proud, if you can't feel loved and proud with yourself, then you can't build up anybody else. It just doesn't it doesn't work that way. Financial health. I just said building together, working together. So this is the tree. This kind of looks like the tree of life a little bit. So this tree definitely represents growth. It represents working together to build a relationship up. And this is talking about material gain. So this looks like you guys are going to be working together, maybe even have a business together. See, some type of business like you guys are entrepreneurs so that you can have the stability that you that you desire. So this is definitely going to be a relationship where financial stability is on point. Okay, Cancer, your last, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Your last message, well, we just said financial stability. This says work on your abundance. Now we know abundance and not necessarily all the time money but it is a part of that. Work on your abundance can mean working on definitely financial health, your money, work on how to love one another, work on self, learn how to work on um, your shadow work, learn how to heal yourself, learn how to have self-appreciation. I'm talking to you and your partner, Cancer, and learn how to feel loved and proud. All of these things fall into the abundance that God will provide for you. The dude abides in this deck, dude, spirit, God, is what they say when they mean dude, okay? So this overall message to you is working on your abundance. You and your partner is on the same path, on the same wavelength. This is coming across like working on your abundance together as a whole, as a union, that God wants you to work on your abundance so you can be the best you. So you can retain all this financial wealth and this security. So you can retain it together. I don't feel like you guys will get it alone. If this message is resonating with you, you are meant to work with this person. So work it out. Da, 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 da. They get better. Work it out. Okay? Work it out. Work on your abundance. That's awesome. This was very, very awesome. So this has been your love messages from your person, what they think about the connection. Also, your opinion as well, I feel like, was in there too, Cancer. So until next time, let intuition be your guide.